you finish a job, sometimes there's people that you never want to see again. Yeah, and then he's, you know, for me, he's definitely not one of those people and hopefully I'm not, you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, you can't do the British humour, man. <laughs> 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 slang for like hey man hey Shane like what's going on or it can be very um, yeah but it's derogatory it could be derogatory as well you know be like what are you doing Shank man this Shank's always tanking my pencil is it similar to <laughs> bag or yeah, like I think, uh, um I've no idea I don't know that one see it's another one of those things where it could be derogatory but loving at the same time like this slint has keep it is, is, is laughing like crazy right now yeah you know? Which one was that? That was a nice one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your best imitation of Gollum. Yeah, I don't know. Was that your imitation I or are you clearing your throat? Oh, yeah, I'm preparing the imitation. <laughs> I can do it at 6, 6 a.m. after I've been out drinking. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never That's your tried natural it. voice then. Gollum. Where's Andy Serkis when you do that? Yeah. And he's doing apes. Uh, in our remaining moments, everybody that comes to this couch, it's a Comic Con tradition for MTV. We play a little game. It's called Geeks and Posers. Because cool. a lot of people come to Comic Con, they claim to be the true geek. Let's be frank, some oh. of them are just posers. Just posers. Okay. It's time to figure out what you are. Oh. Here we go, some well, trivia questions I for you. I just think guys. I'm neither. <laughs> oh I'm gosh. not going to pose and pretend to be a geek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Don't worry, you'll be in good company if you get everything wrong. Okay. Um, Fantastic. Finish this line made famous by Game of Thrones. Oh, man. I've got this. No, I didn't. You got this. It's all confidence. She's got it. A Lannister always pays his debts. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, I got it. We've got a ringer here. Nice. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> the new Batman versus Superman movie. Yes. It's called Batman versus Superman. Return movie. <laughs> film movie. The film of cinematic experience. <laughs> <laughs> On screen. <laughs> Thank, yeah. Thankfully, it's none of those. It's Dawn of Justice. Got it. Oh, yeah. got okay. It. So in this film, we see a pack of over 20 boys uh, coexist with just one girl. Was this film also based off my college parties? <laughs> oh. Player, <laughs> uh, you're massively influenced by your college parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so, um, which is a And we want to thank you for that, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> no one else thank thanked me for that. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we had we had moonshine on on. Oh, well, not when we weren't drinking that, but that, mm -hmm. our characters had moonshine. We had a little bit of a party. Did you have a lot of fires at your party? We had quite a lot we of had fires. We had a bit, a little bit of moonshine. Fires, I, I so. legitimately thought that was pee, by the way, when in the moonshine scene when you guys <laughs> just drinking pee. Oh, that's funny. I never even thought it about that. It looked like that because they were pranking you at that point in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do one then. Uh, Where's the chisel? Where's the chisel? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking laugh. Uh, I'm so laughing. Take him. Kenny's first kiss. I mean. Kenny's first kiss. Yeah, it's sending the bar quite high, isn't it? Really. I don't think. It, I think it's downhill for for Ken Doll uh, from there, and me too. I don't see myself. Uh, k kissing Jennifer Harrison again, but uh, uh, it was yeah a very like awkward you know scene to shoot. I just felt sorry for Emma and Jen, but they were really good sports, and uh, you know we just we, we had fun with it. Now one of my favourite scenes has to be the ultimate waterfall rap. Oh, I love that you said that. I seen a rainbow yesterday, but too many storms have come and gone, leaving a trace of not what God given me. Is it because my life in ten shades of grey? I pray I'll ten fade away, seldom praising for the sunny day. It was That's amazing. very sweet. Thank you. Come on, you must remember a little bit for us. I do, and do you know what? I just I can see it. You vibe it. It's in your head. You've got the instrumental in your head, but I'm just you know what? I can't. I can't subject the world to that. I, I've 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 let go of my rap career, and I've. I've admitted to myself, I've faced up to it, that I'm not going to be a rapper. Don't do that. Don't, do that, <laughs> Don't that go, Jay. You almost, yeah, I saw it. All my friends are like, I watch MTV, I watch your show. Actually, I was very surprised because I thought it was, I didn't think it was going to, I thought it was going to be a little girly. It was actually very, very, <laughs> no, no offense, but it was actually really good. And if you could convince my friends to start watching the show because they don't see what's so good about it, you think you could say anything about it that will um, get them uh... Sure, yeah, I will say this. Uh, oh, do I have to take that? Should I take that or is, or is this okay? Hold on it's a funny point. little thing. Um, <laughs> guys, I totally get it. Um, I gotta be honest, if I was seeing MTV's Team Wolf coming on TV, I probably would not be uh, putting it on my DVR. Um, but listen, if I did watch it, oh, I broke your cookie. If I did, <laughs> if I watched it, you, you worked so hard to make this for me. Um, 
If I did watch it, though, I, I would dig it because um, it's, it's not what you think, okay? I mean, it's a little bit of what you think, but there's a lot more of it that, uh, that isn't what you think. It's very fun. It's, it's a lot smarter than you would think it is. Um, uh, it's cooler. It's funnier than you think it would be. I don't know. If you don't want to watch it, that's okay. <laughs> I was being pushed along on a, on, a, on a dolly, sporting myself on my stomach, pretending to do all this flying, whilst two people were holding hair dryers, blowing my face. It's brilliant. It's so fun. <laughs> Talk about Styles and Derek. Did they actually write any of those scenes in this season? <laughs> what 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 scenes are you referring to? I literally just like deplete all of your recording devices with one spray of water. Nice. And then, there goes the interview. What celebrity would Will want to be stuck in the maze with? Uh, Kendrick Lamar. That's my favorite rapper, but I've been saying Jay Z, oh, which is weird because we just talked really? about it. Yeah. But that was that's that's good. Oh. I mean, he could. I would personally say he could have Kendrick Lamar because that's my favorite rapper. Let's give him a point. Cool. Okay, uh, dog. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> what is Will's favorite Glader vocabulary term? Shank. That is what I've been saying. Is it? Yeah, legitimately. Yes. Yeah. What has Will said he misses most about England? Uh, your own bed. <sighs> no, I'm not really bothered about my bed. Aren't you? I'm a bit of a sofa surfer. It's my mum. Uh, your mum? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, thanks, man. That is sweet. Who did Will win an MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss for Kissing? Well, they, they made two people kiss me. <laughs> That's how it went down. Oh, um, Forced uh, him into it. Jennifer Anderson. That's right. And, oh, yeah. and uh, Emma Roberts. This guy. Very Is that two nice. points? No, it's that's, just the one. That's awesome. It's just the one. Okay. I'm now terrified <laughs> because <laughs> it's going to be really awkward if I just get zero. How many movies has Thomas starred in with Colin Firth? There's three. That's right. Nice, man. You've got a hat trick the first. That's really good. Well, nice to you. Wh like... Which Beatle did he portray in Nowhere Boy? Paul McCartney. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yep. What? The burbles. Right, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> what famous actor is Thomas's cousin? It'd be crazy if it was me and we just found that out right now. <laughs> I'm going to say me and just the hope it's me. Is it me? <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> it's not. No, it's uh, Hugh Grant. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, I should have said it was famous British actor, wasn't it? And I was going, is it me? <laughs> famous British actor. Got, fair enough. Who does Thomas voice on Disney Channel's Phineas and Ferb. Ferb, baby. And he kills it, too. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. Last one is true or false. Thomas can play the guitar left-handed. Pretty much do anything. <laughs> I can he can play it with his toes. I'm going to say yes, he can play it left-handed. True. Yes. Nice, man. <laughs> yes. You so do we, do we find out whether we beat them? I would say the whole cast knows each other pretty oh, well. Well, yeah. But if there had to be losers, they're outside, is basically <laughs> what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. Last time I talked to you, you told me about a crush you had on Chloe Moritz. Oh, yeah, that was so, you. Yeah, so yeah. is there any, any uh, you know, updates on this one? Have you pursued this at all? Yeah, recently update, uh, recently updated on Wikipedia. I, I, I Wikipedia'd Chloe Moretz and I saw how old she was. So I'd like to take that back and I'd like to retract and say that uh, I think Chloe Moretz is a very cute and talented girl. Uh, I don't have a crush on her. Do you know what's so funny <laughs> is that after that video we got so many comments of people no being like, do you know the age difference? And I was like, oh, God. yeah, see, that's, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Like, I was just saying she was awesome in that movie, you know. She's just good and kick-ass. She's yeah. a good actress. Thank you so much uh, for, for doing this. Um, I got to see the movie yesterday. It's incredible. Uh, so congratulations on the film already. It's, it's absolutely a stunning piece of work. Um, maybe you could give us a little insight to anyone who maybe isn't from this planet and has no idea what the Maze Run is. Give us a, give us a very quick synopsis of, of the movie, if you would, maybe, Dylan. You literally Fine, backstage... Fine, let's move on to Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just backstage promised me he wouldn't ask me that question. That's um, why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of mentioned that, you know, obviously you, you meet Will and, and Thomas's character uh, first on. Maybe you could give us a quick insight into your characters as well. Um, <clears throat> my character's Newt, and he's... Uh, uh, he's, he's second in command. As, well, I mean, the, the crowd already know of it. <laughs> Think about all those people watching the podcast who have <laughs> never heard of Maze Runner before. Okay, what you didn't right. hear, Thomas, was there's a woman just down there went just went, oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> and that is exactly how she sounded, just in case you were unsure. <laughs> oh, she rolled her eyes in. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, and, what, and what about for you, Will? Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about your character. <laughs> so, Cause, ta- cause so Thomas, Thomas has nuked. changed colour. <laughs> well, I play Gally, um, who is... Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I'm not sure he deserves that at all, but... Um, or, or me. What about being amongst a, a cast of guys? Was it? Was it? Was Look it? at them. It's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a stupid question, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> um, and what about like your character, Will? Because like seriously, I mean, we've met quite a few times before. You've never bought me a drink, and it's fine. Um, but y- he's quite bulked up in this movie, right? You've changed. <laughs> I don't know. I think most of the visual effects budget went on trying to make me look strong. Um, and uh, there's actually this cool moment, like I think maybe it was in the trailer, uh, where um, me and Dill have kind of like a little kind of like rough and tumble moment, and I, I push him, but I did not push Dylan O'Brien that far. I can tell you, he was on like he was on a crane wire, getting yanked back, um, and he, he made he made me look a lot stronger than I am. But um, but yeah, it was it was it was fun playing. I guess that guy, and, and one of my favorite scenes, the wrestling scene that w- we did together as well. It's kind of fun doing that physical stuff, and, and Dilly nails the physical stuff, so it's fun. Let's talk about the physical stuff then. Um, how, how, I mean, this movie's called The Maze Runner. How much running did you have to do? I mean, Wes, did you see these guys and go run in an audition? Like, Th- that could, is could the funny run? thing, is that I did not think to audition Dylan's running style. <laughs> Thank God, you, you look okay. A lot, lot of running in this movie. Please tell me you didn't do that in the audition. Well, no, I mean, I just think it'd be funny if that's how I ran, you know? And, like, they gave me the part, and then we showed up, and and I was just like, "Uh, uh." and they're like, "Uh, ah. Let me ask you about casting. How did you you choose these guys? That's funny. You know, I, I, um, when I read the book, I immediately, actually, Kaya knows this, I I saw Kaya as Teresa, because I knew her from Skins. So she was like my first choice when I came in the studio. I pointed to this picture of Kaya and said, I want her. Um, and then, uh, and Will was actually the next person that came to mind. And I think I, I found uh, Thomas really, really quickly actually in the audition process. And then Dylan, you're the last guy. I auditioned Dylan. You d- did you audition yeah. as well though? Yeah. Did that's you right. know though that he, they'd I come to you? I knew it was him. You? The second he walked in, I said, that's him. Because he had like a, a poorly finger and he was like, dude, look at my finger. I've been on a plane and I'm so great. <laughs> and I was like, this is the guy. I think the impression's a little off. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about the story. It's Dylan's hair. I mean, look at, look at the hair. You can just barely see it, but it's quite an awesome head of hair. I have my head on it. But <laughs> I was just starting out. We had seen hundreds and hundreds of tapes. And Dylan was probably one of the, th- the first people to actually audition for this role. He was probably tape number three or something. And you might have just got done with Teen Wolf or something. And the hair was, you know, it was Styles' hair. And, <laughs> and, uh, and so me, this, this new director, didn't know what, what the hell I was doing. All I could see was, you know, Styles. And I couldn't see the, the young kind of every man, the innocent boy that I pictured as Thomas. And so as time went on, I just couldn't find who we were looking for. And the studio said, we did this movie with this boy, this, this awesome kid named Dylan O'Brien. He was in the internship. You should check him out. And I did a search online for him. And on Google Images popped up, and there's a, there a shot of Dylan with his head shaved. And I immediately said, that kid, he's awesome. This is perfect. And then I, I mean, this, this told me something, by the way. As soon as I, I realized that, I remembered his audition. And that told me something. Out of the hundreds of tapes, I remembered his audition, the very first one I saw. And so I went back, this time wiser. I r- realized I could do something with his hair. And we brought him in, and he became our Thomas. What was it shooting like? I mean, you guys, it's, it's, it's a very young cast, a lot, of, a lot of young people. Was it fun? Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, we had a lot. Yeah? We're all in the same. I mean, like, first of all, like, we're, the three of us are here right now, but there's about eight, nine more of us, like, yeah. you know. Uh, and we all just got on insanely well, well from the get-go. Like, I remember the first night that I got to a pre-production day, like, 
I was like, uh, you know, I saw, I met Will at the office and he was like, hey, by the way, just, you know, here, take my number. We're all going to hang out later. So just let me know when you're done. And I was like, okay, okay, cool. And I let him know. And he's literally like, come to my room. And I go to his room and they're just cooking. And it's like, this is like the first time I'm meeting all these guys too. And from then on, I mean, it was just like day one, you know, that was day one. Like, and it was like every day. Off yeah. And now it's, it's been a year and we're still like, you know, oh, staying so close. It's so cool. Yeah. It was a blast to shoot. It was really hard, but we we're all in it together, you know, and then, it was awesome. I'm assuming a lot of running takes place. Is yes. That correct. Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna be? Are you all in peak shape? Um, no. No. <laughs> I, I, well, now, anyway. It's like CG yeah. running. You're doing like C, It's like computer yes. generated running. Right. They just move my legs yeah. for yeah. me and my so body. Just just stand. 